White spot infection ick and new ick in our tropical freshwater fish, an important disease. And today we will show any information what is important about the ick, but also about the new ick, neoichthyopterius. We will explain a new method, the Dr. Basler and the ick method, and some advice for effective control and treatment. White the spot diseases or ick you can clearly see here on the skin and the fins on this black emperor tetra. You see here the clown loach. We're gonna try to solve the problems, but if you have a problem with ick, you have to understand, look for the cause. Usually it are fluctuations due to cool temperature shock, bad water chains, open windows, thermostat broken, lack of carnitine, introduction of new fish, new plants which carries white spots or ick, a stress factor, bad food, or poor feeding practice all causes and a reason that white spot infection can appear. First make a correct identification. Sometimes diseases look like ick. Here this chanda with those crusty white spots caused by a virus, lymphocystis. Here a liparinus with little white specks in the dorsal fin, which is caused by encapsulated worm larvae, metacercaria. And we have other cases that look like ick. Here a peppered appearance on the titea barb, odinium or velvet disease. And a blue remirazi with yellowish large spots, which is the new ichthyopterus. We'll talk about it later on. Important that you detect ick in the first beginning stages. Observe your fish daily. These rainbow fish still look actively and can still be treated because we spot the diseases on time. Look at their behavior. The fish are stressed, their respiration is heavily, they're shaking their body and you see the white spots covered over the body. What we don't see are the white spots in the gills. This is a typical behavior for fish infected with ick. The blood parafids are hovering in the corner of the aquarium and looking very stressed. In the microscope we can detect ick on a fin. You can see some small spots which are the juvenile stages and here the large white spot with the typical nucleus. We can also detect it in the gills and here it was obvious nothing to see on the skin of the barbs but plenty of parasites in the gills which we couldn't see unless we used the microscope. And there's a massive infection of white spots which is causing damage to the gills. And this damage of the gills makes the fish suffer, getting secondary infections and possibility to die. So check your fish daily on their behavior. There is also a new ick, Neoichthyopteria schlotfeldi. Looks different, smeary white spots, yellowish here on the ram. Has a different appearance. They look larger, here massively, on a discus, yellowish, covering the whole body of the fish. And Neoichthyopterus lotfeldi here on Jack Dempsey's, you see the yellowish whitish spots covering on the body and causing damage to the cichlids. Important that you watch your fish in your aquarium daily. Here the new ick on a Loricaridae, completely covered with the white spots, the new white spot. To see the difference in the microscope, we can distinguish the typical U nucleus shape in a normal ichthyopterus, and here is the neo ichthyopterus. You see, it's a different body, it's darker, has a different form, so they look quite different, but a microscope is the best way to show you this. More white spots here on the skin of the fish. The important thing to know that ick is protected by the mucus. They're sitting underneath the mucus, look here in the gills, and that's where they are protected from any medications into the water. So the medications cannot reach the parasite, and that's why we have to think about an action. So to solve our problems, we have to understand the ick cycle. To understand that the little parasite invades the fish underneath the mucus, the skin, the gills, 
and dirty becomes mature after several days and usually after seven days he reproduces and produces many baby parasites which can reinfect the fish that's the stage the little baby parasite that we can kill with medications in the water but we have a new method next to the medication like Fonamore which kills the parasite we also can use a fish food that helps to make the mucus repelling so the parasites don't like it to be there so the use of a biofish food methylene is a new way of controlling uh, with a functional food the, the health of the fish and the plant extracts is methylene which is changing the mucus so the parasites move out or do not like to attack so you can see it as a kind of repellent action with the help of a fish food so we use this kind of anti-ick method with the combination of a medication the combination with a fish food together with some actions we can take with temperature and filtration that helps to eradicate the parasite I will explain you more about this now the treatment of ick well you can check first the water quality the temperature use a medication but follow the ind indications or directions minimum seven days raise the temperature with some three degrees don't use carbon or biofiltration add an air pump add microfiltration to remove parasites and feed only during seven to ten days with the biofish food matrine for the treatment of the new ick which is different in color and appearance check also the water quality and the temperature do a 25 percent water change and do siphoning of the bottom add salt three to five grams a liter and fauna more use correct medications raise the temperature with three degrees don't use biofiltration no carbon filtration add air pump and use microfiltration when possible and during the next 10 days every day try to siphon the bottom do a partial water change but add also extra doses phonomer and salt and feed only by fish food matrine during 7 to 10 days we will explain more about anti ethical methods in the next tutorial about marine ick or cryptocarrion look forward to serve you better we are responsible thank you